I guess we're back at it again with another random dude. We're playing some 60 seconds, which I have seen people play, but I've never actually played myself. Um, so let's get this show started, huh? Uh, I guess we're supposed to pick up crap. Uh, um, I, I don't a lock. What does a lock do? Uh, uh, I'm running into so much shit. Why is there a random axe in the fucking? Uh, uh, I have, I don't know what to grab. Got my wife. I think that's my wife, right? Or is this some random person? Uh... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 I got one. Ah! 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 Medic! Oh, fuck. Well, I hope I didn't forget anybody. Day one. What's that lock do? Padlock? Okay, so what do I got? Looks like I got a decent amount of water and food. I got a gun. Uh, looks like I'm missing someone. Almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. All we could do now is start thinking. Okay, so I did miss someone. We're creating ways to serve our canned soup. Uh, we vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because uh, there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out, being messy, we. Oh my god, I can't read. Being messy, can we really work in your favor? Our shelves are full of cans. Our shelves are full of cans. Oh my god, I can't fucking read. Oh, it's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? From cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Uh, this is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never had another one, but there. We're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Okay. The time to ration supplies. Well, I'm not gonna give anything on the first day. Uh, it's so easy to ice, us. Escalate, escalate, escalate silly arguments, escalate at close quarters doesn't help. We were chatting and suddenly we were fighting and the fighting, let's just hope that we could get over this. Is that a fly? Can I hit that? Day two. Oh damn, he's growing a beard. See that? It says, we stopped arguing, but for, uh, but for how, what the fuck? Do anything with that? Uh, to me, might. To me, might look like, might not look like it, but he's, but he's a strong boy, and he's doing just fine. Everything seems to be okay with Dolores. No new problems. Our tr fucking, yeah. Uh, no new problems. Troubling Ted. Okay, so everything seems to be going all right. Ration supplies. Let's wait one more day, cause nobody's complaining. Uh, enough. Wait. Enough of this plain, tasteless water. Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee? Real, true, and, and blue American. The kind that you can drink five cups and still feel sleepy. But where are we going to find that in the wasteland? Well, Dolores' favorite diner is, or used to be, a few blocks away. Maybe someone who should go out for, for the coffee? I mean... I don't think it's a good idea considering the nuclear apocalypse just happened. Um, but I mean, you want to go out there? Nah, we're gonna wait. Fuck that. Day three. We're not going to ask. Wait, we're not going to risk our necks for this. We were, uh, we have more important things on our minds. The cracks in the walls aren't going to cut count themselves. <clears throat> How about getting Timmy something to drink? Okay, so he's thirsty. 
Dewar has something, uh, has something, has to drink sometimes. Ted needs water to survive, so everybody needs water. So, water, 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 water everywhere, but not enough to drink. Uh, our neighbors, our neighborhood still is high radioactive. Trips to the service may be a bigger curse for our health. Yeah, so I don't want to do. Mm, I want to wait for a little bit. We got plenty of supplies. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in a, uh, not a word in hours. Not a, none at all. We can't stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Well, fortunately, I don't have what looks like a radio under that. Uh, hello. There's nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard we can hear neighbors in the other shelter timmy is really tired Dolores is really tired uh ted is really tired what do you want me to do about that rationing supplies let's give them some food um they haven't eaten in a while no condition to go outside uh it looks like the area is irradiated going to the wasteland right now be may be unsafe unless we don't want I don't mind getting sick. So I'll prepare it, and I'll see what happens tomorrow. What is this? As we were considering alternatives to cat soup to diet, a sudden knock at the door. <clears throat> knock at the door. Broke our li line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in pretty bad shape. Uh, all they wanted was to get us something, get something to drink, a bite to eat or at least uh, clean bandages and medicines to attend okay well I'm not giving up uh, my medical supplies because I don't know uh, I don't know if that's the only one that I have which I think it is um, I guess I could give some water because I have plenty of it prepper What does it say? It says, our survivors... Why is that still going? Our visitors were in tears when we gave them <clears throat> what they asked for. We survived the nuclear apocalypse only to be nearly strangled by thankful ref refugees. Hugs can't kill, you know. <laughs> Luckily for us, they decided to continue their uh, journey to get somewhere safe before the sunset. As they were about to leave, one of them presented us with a portable radio. Nice. They would not take no for an answer and soon left, waving goodbye until they disappeared amongst the rubble. Okay, cool. Free radio. Timmy on his best behavior. How long will it last? Everything seems okay with Dolores. Ted is fine. Okay. So nobody's hungry, nobody's thirsty. Therefore, nobody gets anything. Uh, what? What's that? Oh. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left to do is choose the right person to go outside. And nobody wants to go outside. Or I can't send anybody. So, shit. Uh-oh. Who's there? Some water for Timmy would be nice. Okay, so water for Timmy. Uh, there has been... There, wait, there has to be some water left for Dolores to get. Ted is also okay. So everybody wants water. Fair enough. Okay, got you water. All right. A uh, combination of our town is still strong in scavenging conditions. The results in the radiation sickness will result. In okay, so let's not scavenge. Just not yet. A group of people dressed in green pajamas. The fuck? Knocking on our hatch is not something that we anticipated. Yet this is exactly what happened. What? Oh, exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor, so we could make some new friends? Should we let them in? What exactly counts as poor? Because, I mean, we got a lot of stuff. I don't know. Should I let them in? Ooh, eeny, meeny, 
Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe, if he hollers, let him go, mm-hmm, uh, uh, very best one. Fuck it, let's go. See what happens. Day seven. What happened to my gun? Those merry men were not very- I fucking knew it! God damn it! Ah, those merry men were not merry at all. They they told us that they were rich. Wait, what? That they were rich and that we should share with their with the other ninety nine percent of. I fucking knew it. We had a lot of stuff. Next to the wasteland, they grabbed a few things and left. We couldn't uh, do anything to stop them and their green cloths clothes were too damn hypnotizing. Wait, are they supposed to be like? Is this supposed to be like a reference to like Robin Hood or something? Despite their dire circumstances and all the trouble uh, we are going through, Timmy is very brave. Today is really. Wait. Is anybody hungry? No. Uh, today was relatively calm for Dolores. Uh, this morning has been calm enough for Ted. He's doing well. Okay. We want to give up food because I feel like we haven't eaten. Mmm. Doesn't nobody's fucking wanting to? There's no way we can go outside Ted, with Ted in its current state. Um. We wish we could just leave. Sitting down here <clears throat> with barely anything to do is driving us crazy. Radio, or radioactive. Uh, still, it's better to to be safe down here than dead up there. Timmy seems okay as much as he can be uh, in our current situation. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about. Ted is fine, so nobody is hungry. Timmy seems okay as much as okay. So nobody's hungry. It seems like. Ration supplies. Let's give him some water. And nobody wants to go outside. God damn it. It looks like the area is still already going to the wasteland right now. It's still unsafe unless you don't go mind going mind going sick. Can I just click anything? Portable radio at just tired, tired, tired. Why don't you need to sleep? What do I need a padlock for? Uh, mutated rodents. I'm, I mean, like, maybe it's just to lock this area, but why is it hanging on the wall like that? Mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. Uh, we're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All of these options are pretty grim. We could use a spare ammunition or something else to get rid of them. Uh, every one of those pests. These pests. Use the axe, because I ain't got no gun, because they fucking stole it. I knew I shouldn't have let us in there. God damn it. Well, the axe is, doesn't look broken, so I guess we got him. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the Harry Mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chain. Good for us. Timmy is rested. Okay, good. Uh, today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted is rested. Okay, good. So we have two people that could possibly go out. So let them get some water and some food. We are dangerously running low. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, the circumstances are are to be calm in these wait it's not easy to be calm in these circumstances hopefully uh, we will keep our peace or our or else we might need to act like wolves in the survival of the fittest and all day 10 I will survive achievement achieved It's easy to feel a bit down when we're living underground. Wow. Like this. No shine, no sky. We need to get rid of that from pessimism, pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness into our lives. Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our, in our current situation. Everything seems okay with Dolores. This morning has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. Okay. 
Um, well, nobody seems to want supplies just yet. So who do I send? Hmm. We've been preparing for an expedition since yesterday. We feel ready. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah. I mean, an adult would know more. Um, know what to do more, right? Why would I? I'm just gonna send him out like that because I don't want to lose anything. Hopefully, he doesn't die out there. Day 11. Timmy might not look, look it, look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Everything seems to be. Okay. To be okay with the lore. His head left to the, to the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Me too. Rationing supplies. Uh, let's give him water. You can survive three days without water, but you can't survive. No, wait. You can survive three weeks without food, but you can't survive three days without water. I think that's how that goes. I don't fucking know. As long as we have food and water, we can stay uh, stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible. In this situation, our hope uh, is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about, about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military and good thing we got a radio from those guys I was kind of glad to give up that water but then again and I was not gonna keep playing oh never mind we knew it the government has not fallen uh, and they're coming to save us they didn't give us exact dates they're in the radio transmission, but we're sure they didn't sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait for further instructions. Deep in the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being brave. Very brave. Today Dolores was relatively calm. Is anybody hungry? Okay, nobody's hungry. What does it say? Problems uh, the problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves with a sick, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here, and it doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. How about we do something about it to fix it? Why would bullets help? Uh, why would... Okay. It's a weird thing to use. What? Dirty or not, the smell... It's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? We'll... Well, we've got some spare ammo. So, why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in. <laughs> Oh, sounds like a brilliant idea. No news is no uh, no news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Uh, today's been fine for Dolores thus far. Doesn't seem like anybody's hungry, so I'm not gonna feed them. Uh, what does it say? If we don't wait, if we take if we care about the future of our kids, we need to start homeschooling Timmy, or maybe a shelter schooling is the right choice of words these days. We need to provide him with something to read or reading material as soon as possible. Reading material? How the fuck does checkers count as reading material? What? I don't even... I mean, like, I could see a... Fucking those guys stole my shit. I hate them. I hate them, because they took my gun and my book thing. How does that make any sense, by the way? Good thing they have those checkers. They contain the instruction sheet. Oh, okay. Perfect reading material for a young boy like Timmy, uh, who would have anticipated that reading those three sentences. 
too many times over would fry his brain a little bit. <laughs> Poor Timmy. Oh my god. Some water for Timmy would be nice. He, he's really tired. Dolores does not last long without one. Okay, so let's give him both water. God, I hope he comes back with something. What is this? Alarm! There's a group of people standing outside, and they don't seem too friendly. Uh, we recognize some of them. They used to be a neighborhood watch, but they don't sound too concerned with the well-being of, of the neighborhood anymore. But they are very serious about anger and angrily waving their heavy flashlights. We need to do something about that before they break in. Uh, everything we have. I think the best thing to do is get an axe, because best case scenario, we could probably get something out of that. Or if we lock it, there's a chance that they could break through the door, so... A good defense is a good offense, I say. This I think. Oh fuck, did we get shot? Okay, well, they're still alive. <gasps> we got a gun! I was right! Oh. We lost the axe, though. Here's Johnny! Ha <laughs> ha! I see what you did there. You, you, you can, greedy bastards. Yeah, that's right. You'd better run. And thanks for leaving one of your rifles, lol. No news is good news. There's nothing new uh, going on with Timmy. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about. Okay, so... I guess I'm not gonna feed you guys. Oh, fuck. We heard about some supply drops on the radio. This just might be what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go out and find the, find out what's really happening? Well, if it's near our house, you would think just go out there and do it. I mean, it's like right there, but of course I don't have a fucking gas mask. Oh well. <gasps> did oh, what did you? Bring? Oh, that's a lot of water. Got me a flashlight. Anything else? It was too dangerous to go out there without protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is really relaxing. <laughs> so relaxing. Uh, Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Uh, we came across a local church at the end of the road. Most of it was destroyed, but the priest in the priest quarters survived. The blessed, a group of people survived. Uh, there will there, there. Oh, so a group of people survived there and started a cult. They believed, they believed that everything that's been happening is a game tailored for someone, someone's amusement. How crazy is that? Cultists decided they won't be needing any holy water. We we did it a bit of a miracle and turned it into empty wine bottles into quite a full water bottles. Okay, so we got plus two water. Uh, one of the beds uh, in the surviving church quarters was filled with quite a few treasures. Namely, a flashlight and a collection of books about evolution. We took the flashlight. But, but, weren't you complaining about books and reading and shit earlier? Like, what the hell? Anyways. Uh, well, I mean, he wouldn't have been there for that, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted looks very weak. If he doesn't eat something today, he might end... Uh, it might end really badly. Ted is really tired. Okay. So, I will give you some food, Ted. That's about as much as you're going to get. Who's going to go outside? Um, let's send out... What's her face? What the fuck? Didn't I send her out? When we answered the phone, what? We could wait. We could hear a gasp of relief from the from the caller. Oh, oh shit! I didn't reach. I didn't read it. I didn't read that last thing when I sent that person out. I think it said something like, um, y "You have to go." Like, there was a phone call or something from, like, a telephone pole. And I think I sent her out to go answer it. They introduced themselves as the as survivors from a nearby town in the hill, hill of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information to call 
when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hoped they would get back to us. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. We can't leave Timmy without water for... Okay, so he needs water. Too long. Dolores has been fine thus far. His stomach is rumbling. Okay, so he's hungry still, and he wants water. Okay. Ted is in no condition to go outside. Dolores is exhausted from going out. Too exhausted to go outside. Uh, Timmy. Closer right now. He might die. Oh. Fuck it. I'm still, I'm still prepping it anyway. Uh, we know very little about what's going on outside. It's a good idea. To, yeah. Okay. Day 18. We were able to get a weak signal on tap into the government agency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. It would, it should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Timmy should eat something. Dolores has not eaten in a while. Ted is hungry. Ted is thirsty. Damn it, Ted. Okay, so you want food, 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 food. Damn, I am running dangerously low. Ah, ah, shit. Dead IT. Okay, what's well, good? Despite the dire circumstances at all, uh, the trouble we are having to go through, Timmy is being very brave. Dolores can't remain this thirsty for long. Didn't I just give her fucking... Okay. Oh my god, our food is almost gone. Timmy goes out there, he might die. So nobody can go out, really, so there's no point. Uh, we stumbled upon the remains of a bandit shanty town. Or something. Or someone or something tore it down. It's. It's. What the hell? Incidentally, and miss the rubble. We found a cat licking its paws nonchalantly, surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs. As we made our way back to the shelter, the cat followed. We could now hear its paws impatiently scratching a hatch. Should we let it inside? Oh, uh, I mean... I'm kind of curious. Fuck it, let's go. Ah. What just happened? Oh, we got a key! Ah. Sharikov? Sharikov? What the fuck? When we opened the hatch, the cat jumped in and marched around the whole shelter, sniffing all of us. Uh, every wall, corner, and empty soup can. A piece of the furniture fi- <clears throat> And a piece of the furniture finally. It picked a quiet place to s and sat down. Uh, and let out a deep sigh. Before taking a 12 hour nap. Its color is called Sharikov. Etched into it. What kind of name is that? Some water for Timmy would be nice. Fair enough. Hard right now, but we okay. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. Okay, so Timmy wants water. Fair enough. Fuck, come on. What is this? A vi uh, every ever since we jumped into our fallout shelter, we've w wondered about the other door. Um, in the shelter. Uh, shoot. Should it even be here? I don't even see another door. Is it? Is that right? Maybe it's like behind me. Like, you know, what I'm looking at. Uh, where does it lead? It's high time we check it out. Fair enough. Hopefully there's nothing in there. We inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. Wow. Despite the dire circumstances and all uh, the trouble we're going through, Timmy is very brave. Life is hard. 
for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. Uh, we hope it stays that way. Ted needs some water to survive. Okay, Ted, you got some water. No. Oh, just Ted. God damn it, nobody wants to leave. What does it say? Uh, today the army broadcast, and I don't have a map. Uh, the army broadcast interrupted our, let's just call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate us away from here. But when we went over to, uh, went over several things that happened uh, before they do it, the first thing they listed, uh, first thing on the list is up to us. We were given a geographical coordinates and we need to get there and leave a sign. We're still alive. This should be easy with a map. And of course, I don't fucking have one. Uh. Uh, we were sure we could find the location without. Wait, what? We were sure we could find the location without the map. We were wrong. Hopefully. Uh, we'll get lucky next time. Timmy is, has rested. Okay, good. He can finally go outside, I think. If there's one thing we need is wa water for Dolores. She is well rested. Ted seems to be doing all right, uh, even though the world has gone to sh uh, crappy place. <laughs> okay. So, Del wait. Uh, Dolores wants water. Anybody else? No? Okay. Okay. All right. Who should go? Uh, we had... We had thought the phone calls were a thing of the past. Um, after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our town, however, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems to be ringing right now. Uh, we should answer. Mm, let's send out Ted. Let's see what it says. Day 23. Well, he's not dead. What does it say? We got to the phone without any uh, any unexpected surprises and answered the phone quickly. We were so excited to hear a voice on the other side, on the other end of the line. Excited, that is, until we realized it was a pre-recorded sales message from the cat tomato soup. <laughs> uh, some water for Timmy would be nice. Life is hard, but Dolores is in a good mood. Okay. Uh, there's nothing going on with Ted. Okay, so Timmy wants water, right? Okay, Timmy wants water. Good thing I have water. If not, it'd be screwed. <clears throat> okay. Yes, let's send someone outside. Uh, how about the trip to Nevada we were planning? Postponing it for a while? Now, may maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Alright, hopefully I can actually send people out and they're not fucking... Uh, love to eat something. Let's just leave those questions be for now. What does that mean? Dolores would really love something to do. Okay, so Dolores, I guess I'll give you some canned food. That's literally all I freaking have. So, send Timmy. Let's see what he's got to offer. There, I give him a gun. Hopefully, he doesn't kill himself. You shot yourself in the eye, kid. What does this say? Timmy went out to the wasteland. We <laughs> we don't know what he'll do if he doesn't come back. Equipment. Rifle. Uh, there has to be some water left. The lore should get it. If Ted is going to drink anything, it's going to... Okay, so water, water. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. What is this? While trying to pet the little devil we found out... Uh, found... A piece of paper on the collar with an address scribbled on it. Uh, could it be the previous owners around the around the worry around and worried sick? Chances are slim, but maybe we should pay them a visit or at least whatever is left of it. Fuck it. So hopefully we can find some some supplies. Uh, 
Because we could sure use some. Where's the cat? We gave it back. Before I reached the end of the street, we were stopped by two men wearing uh, dark coat masks and stylish hats. They rushed towards the cat to pick him up, saying that uh, they'd been looking for him for a while now. Supposedly, Sharikov belongs to the old lady or who's rather fond of it and misses the little guy dearly. We shrugged and went back to our shelter. The cat didn't even seem to care, so why should we? Uh, good thing we didn't get too attached to it the last few days. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood. We hope he stays that way. Fuck, Ted is hungry. Do I have food left? Okay, I have. I have one half can. Oh, Timmy, better come back with something. We keep dreaming about those little things we had back then. The day when we were as when when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not in our heads, anyway. Day twenty-seven. What we make of today will be uh, be tomorrow. So let's make it right. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. Okay, so I'm not gonna give them anything. Uh, we were closed out. What? We, we're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know other groups of elderly people hiding in the ruins of local retirement home. They must have some supplies in there, in our opinion. We need them more. The well-being of your family is the most important thing of this world, right? I mean... You have to take this into perspective of a wasteland. So, I mean, you have to do what you can to survive. Even if that means stealing from old people. I mean, they're, you know, at this point, they're kind of... Like, they've done everything they could, right? The dark side. What the hell? Oh, we got water, but we didn't get any food. We had to do what was right for the family. It had to be done. We really don't want to mention it again. How about we talk about something else? A soup, perhaps? Plus four water. Why do you talk about soup and we only get water? Like, the fuck? I mean, water is not a bad thing, but I could really use some soup or food. Uh, to our surprise, we found Shurikov, uh back in our shelter. Uh, this morning we're not exactly sure why or how it came to came back is it our good care what is it our good care it appreciate what the fuck Am I reading that right is it our good care it appreciates okay maybe I'm just saying it wrong our kind hearts optimism or just a stockpile of soup cans we don't have a stockpile though only time will tell Dolores will not last long without water. Ted needs to drink something soon. Well, good thing we just got water. We got a lot of water, actually. We stumbled upon the weird signal when changing the radio frequencies. We're pretty sure it, uh, that behind the layers of the terrible static and screams... What? We heard, We can hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh, dear. What if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it, but... Think about the children, really. What about the children? Okay. Fuck it. Hope it doesn't break the radio. Day 29. Okay, well, the radio's not broken. Why is there a handprint? Where did that come from? We were relieved at the first... Uh, we were relieved at first when we figured out it was... It wasn't Soviets. We heard it turned out it was Canadians. I mean, Canadians are basically the same language as us, right? I mean, aside from French and uh, English, I think it is. <clears throat> Which isn't that much better. Either way, 
Wow. Either way, they're foreigners, and we couldn't understand. What? Understand what they were saying. <laughs> Not a word. <laughs> How disappointing. Life is hard for us all right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. Ted is pretty f fatigued. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, I don't think fatigue means that you're hungry, so... Uh, it's not easy to uh, calm... It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we will keep our peace, or else we might need to act like the wolf's survival is the fittest... Oh, I already read that. happen uh, it's easy to fill a bit down living underground uh, this is no sunshine in the sky no sky we need to get rid of the pessimism I tried to being so much Loris is not eating in a while okay so she's hungry the morning is calm okay so this is the last fucking can that we can give if Timmy doesn't come back with anything then we might be screwed a loud crash uh, a, sh a surprise shriek and a bit of debris falling f uh, from our ceiling Truly a recipe for a good start to the day uh, as it turns out that Sharkov found a new toy a bit uh, a bit of Innocuous wiring That uh, it ripped out of the wall who knows what the cables are for but our lights are still on So it can't be that important, right? Should we take the wire away from him? More focus plan or and investigate? I mean, I don't mind investigating, but taking the wires away from a cat? I mean, that's probably not the best idea. Well, let's hope it's something important. Is, is Timmy back? What'd you get? <gasps> There's an axe. Poison? No food. We really don't want to risk uh, pissing off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pissing off Sherika. By taking uh, its toys away, we've already gotten scratch for a whole lot less. Uh, let's just leave it be. That wire is probably useless. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back with the from the wayside and is safe now. Uh, we were happy to find a fire station uh, in our town, and at least it's semi-operational. Even after the apocalypse, it's not really shocking. Firefighters are the greatest of heroes. Right after Marines and Ice Cream Man. <laughs> the ones with the happy tunes in their beds. Although, none of their faces look familiar. Uh, we're sure they're the real deal. They had uniforms, helmets, and everything. They were even customized. They even customized their headwear by drawing a lot of menacing skulls on them. How creative. Near the garage, uh, we found a few firefighters shooing off some giant mutated cockroaches with a fire hose. Uh, we joined in the fun and managed to uh, fill some bottles of water in the process. Uh, outside, next to the edges, we found uh, we managed to f we found a mannequin dressed in a police uniform. Uh, nailed to the wall with a fire axe. Uh, it must have been some sort of an art installation of sorts. Uh, and we were sorry to ruin it, but we really needed the axe. Okay. Although initially friendly. <sighs> I just hope for a drink there. Mm. Initially friendly, the firefighters became a bit anxious after a while. They handed us a can of Bucks Ray <laughs> and asked us not to tell anyone about what they saw here. We're sh not sure why maybe they're too humble and don't want people to come to their sh come and shower them with gifts. Timmy should eat something. Timmy is pretty fatigued. Timmy is really tired. Uh, if there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. If Ted doesn't drink anything. Okay, so they want water, and I have no food. So, water for everybody? Okay, we're gonna need to send someone out. Today, god damn it, you don't have a fucking map. Uh, 
Radio stopped and arm. Yeah, same thing. Of course, I have a fucking map! Day 32. What does it say? Uh, we were sure we could find the location without the map. We were wrong. Hopefully, we could get lucky next time. Uh, Timmy is very hungry. Uh, today is very. Time for Dolores thus far. Ted is hungry. Shit. I have no food. Just keep drinking water. Mm, yeah. Fuck, this isn't good. What? During one of the insane episodes at around 3 last night, Sharkov ran his face first into a wall, causing the, a loose brick to fall out. A brick? I don't see any bricks around here. Whatever. Uh, to fall out. Behind it was a cigar box with some ammunition inside. Thanks, whoever left it here. <laughs> Timmy's uh, diet needs food. Is today or never? Timmy isn't feeling very well. The day is relatively calm. Dolores. Uh, Ted left for the service. We hope we can be back soon. Well, I could give you that. And some water, but I have no food. Uh, during the night, we heard some suspicious sound from behind our door. We peeked out uh, in the morning. We saw a leather suitcase with no address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it, it was meant for us to open it. Should we open it? That sounds like a bomb. Fuck it. Let's do it. YOLO, right? A gift. What was in it? There's no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking it out of the suitcase. But it looks ob uh, absolutely harmless and purified. Uh, we hope we get to meet the generous stranger one day and thank him or her personally for keeping the family well hydrated. Timmy's diet needs some food today or never. Timmy was cured? Oh yeah, because I gave him the thing. I don't have any food! I have no food. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in good. Okay. So, water. Just keep drinking water. What the trash can be has become is becoming full of empty soup cans uh, and the unmentionable bucket is overflowing both of them are attracting strangely glowing suspicious bugs insects and roaches weren't that big before before the war were they okay so bug spray or poison oh Who's knocking? Hello? We have dodged a bullet this time. That, uh, there's a bullet that's huge and hairy, eight legs and glowing head. Hopefully we, uh, won't have to deal with him again, with them again. Timmy's diet needs food. It's today or never. Timmy feels, feels sick. Dolores is not going to last long without water. Well, good thing I have plenty of water. Uh, we welcomed a probably crazy supposed scientist into our shelter today. It turns out that Sharkov is not only an incredible, ill-mannered pet, but also the scientist's highly valued assistant, who he calls Dr. Sharkov. Uh, the cat... The cat's disappearance has left the doc struggling with his latest project. He expects us to help him out as compensation for keeping his helper away. Uh, the cat didn't care. He clearly wants to stay with the doc. The doc might be really crazy, but maybe his knowledge is something that can help us out in the long run. Hmm. So, do I even get a say with that? 
Oh, what happened? Where'd he go? Hunger drove Timmy insane. When he realized that he wouldn't be able to be, uh, we won't be able to provide for him, he snuck out and never returned. <sighs> Great. Knock, knock. This is the sound. <clears throat> the sound always surprises and confuses us. It can mean anything, good or bad, but always curious. Should we open the door? Well, in the words of Metro, mutants don't knock. They usually barge in, so I guess we will open the door and see what's up. What happened? Oh <gasps> yes! Damn it, Timmy! If only, <laughs> if only you were here a few seconds earlier. Uh, it turns out it was a nice, mysterious fellow with a weird in a weird suit. He gave us some soup cans. This will help us survive the next couple of days. Dolores has not eaten in a while. Well, good news too. Here you go, Dolores. What does it say? What is that? It seems like a distant rumble but it's getting louder and why is everything shaking oh my god it's an earthquake grab something and hold on well wait will something break if I don't I mean I need the radio oh somebody's back what'd you get us oh no the flashlight's broken <gasps> a gas mask <gasps> she brought oh what is what did he bring Oh, we lost it. Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and the daily dose of radio static. We were able to grab it before anything could fall and get smashed. Uh, something might be broken, but we won't know until the place is cleaned up. I gotta fucking... Mm. Damn, this bitch has been going on for an hour. I'm not gonna even edit it because like, I've just been talking this entire time. <clears throat> Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Uh, during the expedition, we stumbled across a half-ruined wall with some half-burnt painting on it. We quickly realized we found a, uh, the ruins of our local museum. Normally, we would never enter the, an establishment like that without a ticket. But desperate times call for desperate measures. We jumped over the uh, turnstile uh, without looking back. In front of the museum... Uh, canteen we found a box with some water bottles and it it was probably left there by some delivery company the delivery company is probably out of business now our guess is that it was blown out of the market <laughs> these fucking jokes man uh, we were hoping for some sweets or snacks but all the museum canteen had to offer us was tomato soup. Those poor, poor tourists. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the only people that have anything is just tomato soup. This fucking fly, can I hit it? Fuck! Uh. Between the rubble we found a half-destroyed statue of Lady? Where are you, where are you? Come Fuck! Uh, between the rubble we found a half-destroyed statue of Lady. She didn't have a lot of clothes on, uh, save for a gas mask somebody put on her face. Probably a joke. <clears throat> we were hesitant to approach the lady and uh, was dressed in modesty. But when we saw she was holding an urn, as long as there's an urn, it's art. And it's okay to look at it. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Sure. We got a gas mask. Dolores is not going to last long with wild water. Ted looks very weak if he doesn't eat. Uh, today might be... Uh, today might end really bad. Ted is really tired. Okay, so Dolores wants water and he wants food. Okay. Okay, so water. F oops. Food. Okay. Got a ration of shit. Yep. Alright, Dolores, you're going to get out there. You're going to show what's good. <clears throat> the cat wandered out of the shelter and returned with a small note from the crazy scientist urging us to help him 
with his uh, next project. He's building some sort of vehicular contraption, but gave us no details. He pro he only wrote that if it goes well, we could use this vehicle to get out of the wasteland. The doc told us to start stockpiling for a trip, starting uh, with several bottles of water. He'll come around to pick us up soon. Okay. I mean, I don't trust crazy scientists, but if it's a way to get out... Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Alright, so he's hungry. Okay. Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the service and look for additional supplies. We're going to send you out. What can I give you? I mean... What would you do with the radio? Curious. Now right, let's give you a gas mask. Let's see what happens. I mean, the only reason you'd ever go out there is to fucking last man standing. I want to know what that achievement is. Look at it later. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she can make it back safe and sound. Equipment: a gas mask. Ted's stomach is rumbling, and Ted wishes for a few drops of water. Okay, so he wants both. The bastard. Well, at least we have plenty. There's nothing more, wait, there's nothing more annoying than silence. <clears throat> and that's all we're getting from the radio. No music, no talking, nothing. Uh, is there anything we can do with the radio to make it work again? We sure know staring at it will help. Okay. I don't know what that means, because it doesn't say what it's actually going to do. So unless he's going to break it or something. Help not. I fucking knew it. He did break it. Well, <laughs> that didn't go so well. Uh, we broke the damn thing. <laughs> Technology changes so fast these days. It's hard to keep up. We need radio anyway. God damn it, Ted. You dumb piece of doo doo. What? The doc came knocking at our door uh, to collect the supplies that we that he requested. Uh, there, they are an important for the project. He said we could trust him. After all, he's a doctor. Four waters? How many do I have? One, two. Oh, Jesus Christ! Why do you want so much water? Yeah, there's no fucking way, dude. You're nuts. Sorry. This guy is a bit too nutty, even by our standards. We'll hold on to our supplies for now. We can always change our minds later. Okay, good. Wait. Wait. We have... What? 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 Why did it show that we only had like four and a half? And then... Now it shows that we have more. I'm so confused. What the fuck. What? A traveling salesman uh, paid us paid us a visit today and was willing to apparently do business. Um. <sighs> business we do after the end of the world. One, one can exchange for cards. Uh, we already have a gas mask. Do we have a gun? We already have a gun. Um. You have checkers? You already have checkers. We don't really need anything. Hmm. That card, though, but I don't know if we have enough. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Sorry, guy. Hey, Dolores is back. What'd you bring? Nothing? Oh, broken mat. Oh, she brought a lot of food. That salesman was very friendly, but we didn't have anything that was of interest to us. Uh, we were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. When scavenging for supplies, she... <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> Sorry, I'm, when I talk like this for way too long, I have to take a drink. Um, one should check every possible every possible corner, even if it doesn't seem promising. With that in mind, we ventured into the ruins of the local bank, hoping we could find something. More than piles of useless pre-apocalyptic junk coins. Uh, it looks like a bank was robbed just before the blast. The vault was cracked open and saws hidden in teddy bears? Who does that? <laughs> Wait, that... Is, it, is that supposed to be like a reference to fucking payday or something? Um, anyway, we can see why they wanted to rob it so badly. The place was filled with tomato cans. And... <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. <laughs> Uh, how did it end up here? Maybe the mail uh, had it delivered to the bank instead of the food bank? Uh, maybe. Uh, we found a shopping bag on the floor instead of the counters. It, can, it contained a couple of rotten bananas, a, ban a hand cream, a pair of bunny slippers, and a bottle of water. Uh, tempting all of these uh, treasures may be, may have been, limited our ourselves to taking the water. Damn it, our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. Dolores has not eaten for a while. All of Ted's wishes for a few drops of water. Okay, so she's hungry, he's thirsty. Thirsty, hungry, and we got plenty of shit to eat. Another expedition, let's do it. Uh, we're a regular family, so we have to have the occasional argument or two. But it was never an, as intense as the fight we just got into. No. <clears throat> no one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope it doesn't last too long. Well, it shouldn't. Hello? Hmm. Oh my god. Some things. We stopped arguing, but for how long? Dolores has not eaten for a while. There's nothing going on with Ted. Okay, so she's just hungry. Okay, so let's attend uh, to Ted. What can I give you, Ted? Hmm. Let's give you an axe. What do you come back with an axe? Dolores would really love to eat something today. Uh, there's a the water lab. Okay, so she's hungry and... Okay. Have yourself a feast. The crazy scientist wanted us to... Okay, so that does... Okay, so that's what it looks like. That's the aftermath. All right. All right, so let's see what happens. Day 46. The post apocalyptic world is full of craziness, but maybe the scientist really is onto something. Uh, <clears throat> if he is, we want to be the first to know. Uh, so we shared our supplies. We expect him to come back with the surprises, with more surprises soon. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Well, you're not hungry. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out of, get out and leave, walk to the surface like uh, we used to? Smells like the fumes of pollution. Ah, that's a set of freedom we made. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but I, I got a, the first sentence here. I got a vibe of Metro for some reason. Okay. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Okay, everything is okay with Dolores. So nothing new. No, she doesn't need anything. Our ammunition is missing. There's no way where... Wait. There's no way it was stolen. So it has to be here somewhere. We need to find it. Well, my fucking flashlight broke in that earthquake, so... Nothing thing I can do about that. Just 
cat, dude. Look at that. Look at that little bastard. <clears throat> Dolores can't remain this thirsty for long. Uh, I need to fucking blow my nose. Wait, did I miss anything? No. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day. We were there weren't as many bombs falling, not on our heads anyway. I gotta blow my fucking nose. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get a drink here. Okay. Who knows? Maybe the new world will offer an opportunities and it won't be that bad. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. And she's good to go. What is this? That trash of ours is getting disgusting. And I have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ted has been out for far too long. Oh no. And it still has not returned. We fear he is coming back. He isn't coming back. <clears throat> we underestimated the, the value of the cat. The environment we thought we had cockroach infestation on our hands, but Sharkoff took care of it. Yeah, good cat. Great cat. Tremendous. <clears throat> uh while we were sleeping. Uh was it reminded of us hunting days before the bombs disappeared? Bombs dropped. Um, was it mesmerized by the roach's glow? Or does it just have an undeniable thirst for fresh uh, cockroach blood? We'll never know why, but we're grateful that we ha don't have to deal with the insects ourselves any longer. Uh, today was relatively calm for Doris. Go Sharka! Yeah! What? The mad scientist has asked for one of us to join him in his lab for an experiment. That's apparently vital to his project. We don't really know what to expect, but he says it has research for the wayside of diseases. Take part in that. Who's the best fit to... But I, if I leave, don't I... Don't I lose? Okay. Day 53. Holy God! Our volunteer was temporarily left the shelter uh, to help build the badass rocket. What? Badass rocket? That we can only use to get out of, your, out of the wasteland. Let's hope we're not just wasting our time. Dolores showed up to the shelter after comp uh, complete, completing this mysterious experiment. It seems her stay in the doctor's lab took a toll on her. Yeah, I could tell. Uh, when we came back to the shelter, we were relieved to discover that it was still locked and the padlock carried signs of an attempted break-in. But whoever gave it a try was not successful, getting inside sadly. <coughs> Uh, the padlock in the sorry state, we can't really use it anymore. So she hasn't eaten in a while, she's ill, sanity is questionable, and is hurt. Well, I don't have... I could give her food, but aside from that, I don't have... It was difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We hope we... This was soon. Ah, she looks really bad. Fuck. Some mornings we feel hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and find and be more optimistic. The army can't be that far. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a medic pack. Unless somebody comes knocking on my door, there's not much I can do. We've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there's still much to be done, like trimming the shrubbery in our yard. That's definitely something we want to do when we get out of here 
It sounds like something Codsworth from Fallout 4 would be doing. What do you want? Let's just leave all those questions for now. Lars has no colors left. They're faced. Your injuries need to be fixed ASAP. Oh, there's not much I can do. Can't do shit. What does it say? You would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since you know most of the people here, uh, people aren't around here anymore. Yet here is someone at the door. When we opened it up, uh, we encountered a strange looking man with a blue suit who asked us to trade for water. Trade him for a water chip? A water chip? What the hell is that? Is that a reference to Fallout 2? I think that's a reference to Fallout 2. We, we explained politely that we didn't have a water chip, but we were happy to share some water with him. The man was visibly disappointed, but he thanked us for the water, and even left the gas mask behind. Odd. Uh, Dolores has no colors left in her face, and her injuries need to be fixed ASAP. Shit. Why couldn't that guy leave me a medic pack? What the fuck? Dolores sending Dolores out is death sentence basically uh, our situation is getting worse every day we can see the hunger and desperation of each other's eyes what do you mean each other there's only one of us uh, at least as far as I know I mean Ted might still be alive we know a teacher's room from a local school have rescued a bunch of kids when the bobs fell uh, we also know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter as a part of the community and helps uh, we help stock it for an emergency so technically technically it's ours right we should reclaim our spot yep 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 hopefully we can find some medical supplies uh oh that doesn't sound good what did we get we went and got what we needed and came back. We were sure the group will do just fine. Mostly, probably, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. We got an axe. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. She's probably gonna die. I'm being honest. But our town used to be very quaint and friendly place before the blast. One of our town folks we often recall is an old man, Jim. Uh, who would sometimes lip through our street. Turns out he's alive and well and still homeless. Some things never change and he clearly misses us as much as we miss him. Uh, he's been banging on our shelter door for the past few hours while asking whether we want to buy a rock. Uh, okay. Fuck it. Let's, let's see what happens. Yeah, I swear these sound effects. Old Jim was always a lovely friend to everyone, so of course we opened the door and fulfilled his request. We winkled. <coughs> we winked at us, or he winked at us and told us the first rock is for free, uh, which we were happy to hear. A nice rock is a good rock. <laughs> Okay, thing to have, but uh, we don't think we will be able to trade any of our supplies for it, even if the, it brings luck like he claimed. Dolores has no colors left in her face. Her injuries are... Wait, where's the rock? Is there... Rock? Huh, I guess not. Oh. No. I'm just gonna keep feeding her and give me a drink, and that's all I can do. What it says, knock knock, the sound of surprises confuses us. Uh, it can mean anything, good or bad. Uh, but it's always curious, should we open the door? Fuck it, let's go. YOLO, right? The end. Uh, what? 
The crazy bastard is sending us towards the stars. Oh. Uh, who knows if we'll reach their destination. To be fair, we're not sure what our destination is. The doc didn't tell us uh, what kind uh, that he kindly offered to take care of our shelter until we came back. We're going where we're going. We don't know. <laughs> we don't need journals. Uh, so we decided to leave our notebook behind. Whoever reads this last entry with us, uh, wish us luck. We hope to be back one day with the tales of great wonder and lots of soup. We survived 59 days. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Reach for the stars. So is, is this a good ending? Bad ending? I... <laughs> The fucking rocket that's in the fucking floor right there. Oh, uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.